All right, Sue, so tell me how you came to work for me. Well, in the year 2000, Gina and I didn't know each other, but we kind of passed in the night. I was working as a security guard for the trailer park where I lived at at the time, and they were bringing in multiple units each day from a park that was closing down the road. And I thought I'd help them out by opening gates, even though it wasn't my time to be working, but I wanted to make sure they got there. So we kind of nodded at each other for the next couple of years, waved, and when I saw her, I never stopped her. I just let her through the gates and everything was fine. In the year 2001, I had a baby at the age of 44, and I'm blessed with a son, and we had brought him home from the hospital, and about a month after that, pipes in our floor of the unit we were living in had burst, and we were in a position where my husband had just uh, been diagnosed with uh, COPD uh, and cardiac problems as well as diabetes that was out of control. So due to that we had shut our business down and we were living pretty much day to day and just surviving on what we could and didn't have the way to go ahead and uh, fix the trailer. So uh, the gentleman I was working for who was running the park was kind enough to call Gina's company Blanchard's and ask her if she had any units that she could donate to a family in need. Well, like the trooper she is, she came right through with it and brought me a one-bedroom, one-bath, mobile home that needed some work, and it was something doable. So my husband and I, in our own way, went ahead and repaired everything and put everything back together, and from that came a beautiful mobile home that I could move my son and, at the time, my 13-year-old daughter back into. We had redesigned the whole thing, and it was absolutely wonderful, the home we were living in, until a devastation happened in October of 2005. We knew Hurricane Wilma was sitting off the coast of Mexico, and the joke in our house was, Sue, I think it's uh, gone ahead and, and zeroed in. It knows your address. And I used to joke, Jim, a hurricane can't get your address. I said, it's just, it's sitting out there. The chances of it hitting us are moderate. So we watched the storm and prepared, and the day when the storms were coming, and they said it was going to come out of the west, the prognostication was that they would come across the alley, the storm would come across the Everglades, but it would slow down when it hit Broward County. There's only one problem. When hurricanes hit warm water and there's nothing to stop it, they don't slow down, they increase in speed. And this baby picked up some speed. The morning of the day, the morning before the day the hurricane hit, we were fortunate to have a friend who brought us a brand new and put together a brand new wooden porch for us to have where we could sit and enjoy our time outside. We battened down the hatches, we closed the shutters, we locked the doors, we took the children out of harm's way, and we put them in a shelter along with our animal. But I couldn't take the cat. The cats had to stay in the house, so we put them in cages, locked in the bathroom, in the bathtub, with plenty of protection around them. Well, the morning of the hurricane, which is October 24, 2005, at 6.30 in the morning, we heard a terrible crash. Well, that wasn't my house. It was the neighbor's house in front. About a half an hour later, my husband, who they were outside watching the storm for some reason, came back into the shelter and said to me, he said, Hon, sit down. I have something to tell you. I said, what's that? He said, the roof just came off your house. It's raining inside the house, and it's pretty well everything we own is going to be gone. I sat down, I said a prayer, I looked at my children, and I thanked God that they were okay. About 45 minutes later, there was a horrific boom. I sat there, not knowing what it was, along with 11 others in the shelter with us, when our neighbor came in and looked at me, took my hand, and said, Sue, you need to know something. I said, what's that? They said, your house just exploded. There's nothing left. Well. I came outside when the hurricane was over, and they were right. Every wall was on the ground, my kitchen was gone, and my roof was a block and a half away. Not knowing what to do, my neighbor had an RV. He said, you guys are going to stay here for a while, and we'll figure out something. Well, we contacted FEMA, and FEMA said we were eligible for some relief, and they would send an adjuster out. During that time, they did say to me, however, you needed a title for this home. Well, the title had never been handed to me, but I knew I had gotten it from Gina. So I called Gina's office, and I spoke to her ex-husband, and he said that she was going in to have surgery on Monday, 
and he did not know how to do this and didn't even know how to turn on a computer, could I come and answer a phone? And I said, well, I'd be more than happy. Uh, if you give me a chance, I'll be more than happy to come in and help you. So I showed up the following Monday, walked in, was sat in front of a computer, and told, answer the phone, goodbye. Well, that was fine, because I'd always worked in an office. I had no problem doing that. And from that, we got a phone call. And it was a woman coming out of Hallandale whose mother's trailer had survived the hurricane, but she didn't want mom living in it anymore, and she needed the trailer removed. Well, they went down and looked at the trailer, and it was in pretty decent shape. And it was offered to me as a temporary living facility so we could figure out what we were going to do. So as the goodness of this company's heart, they gave me an RV to live in for my family and myself and my husband and my animal. Well, after that, there was a program opening up that our company had been accepted into for a FEMA project to help the town of Davie, whose homes were devastated. So as Gina's suggestion, she said, Sue, go apply. You've lost your home. Why wouldn't they give you one? So I went through the process, and I was approved virtually immediately. What a wonderful gift, because there was no way I was going to be able to afford to buy a new home and to put my family in one. From that, Gina and I went ahead and set 25 other people's homes, along with mine, which is absolutely beautiful. I was given a beautiful brand new mobile home on a site with everything included. I said, God couldn't have been any nicer to us. From that day, we've never left each other's side. We have been together forever. We do everything virtually for the business. It's been good. We've had some tough times. We've had some wonderful times. There have been times where we didn't know where our next meal was coming from, both of us. And there have been times we've been so happy we didn't know what to do. The happy dances didn't come fast enough. But this job is everything to me. I love it. I love this business. And I love everything about it. And there's nothing I wouldn't do to make this job and this business successful. So if that's a little bit about myself, um, I'm a mother of three. I have grown children, grandchildren, and children still in middle school. Uh, I would do anything to help this business, and uh, hopefully I'll be here for a lot longer. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> We're inseparable. <laughs> All right, Sue, thank you so much. I guess we'll have to show you what's going on the rest of the day, and it's going to be another exciting day. Hopefully um, we'll get through this day without a whole lot of commotion. <laughs> All right, goodbye for now. Bye -bye.